Providence Chapel AME Church, where we are living in a year of restoration. Adams Chapel is located at 3813 Edgerton Road, Baltimore, Maryland, 21215. And the very fine pastor is Reverend Rosalind Crosby. Our scripture of the month is Matthew 6 and 33. The New King James Version says, But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Congratulations to all those celebrating birthdays and or anniversaries in August. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. August is National Wellness Month. Practice self-care, manage stress, and have a healthy routine. If you have any prayer requests, if you would like to accept Christ, call or text 410-701-0234 or use the following links to us at www dot adams chapel ame dot org slash prayer dash request we thank you for your financial support of adams chapel ame ministry if you would like to give you can do so electronically by simply giving with give lafi or you may mail checks or money orders to Adams Chapel AME Church at 3813 Edgerton Road, E-G-E-R-T-O-N Road, Baltimore, Maryland, 21215. Join us in our faith studies by phone. Sundays at 9.45 a.m., join us for church school by dialing into 725-735-9068. And on Mondays, join our church school at 7. 15 p.m. by dialing 725-735-9068. No access code is needed. And please worship with us online Sunday mornings at 1115 on Facebook uh, at Adams Chapel AME and again at 3.30 p.m. on YouTube at Adams Chapel AME Church. Thank you for worshiping with us and have a powerful week in the Lord.
God, that when we can't see the end, you already know it and have figured out how we're going to get through it. We're so grateful that we don't have the burden of the whole world on our shoulders, but that you thought it not robbery to bear the burdens of the world, including us in it. So this morning, Father God, we are praying that you clear our minds and clear our hearts, that we may hear a word from one high. We're praying this morning, Father God, that you forgive us of our sins through thought, word, or deed. But we know we have messed up somewhere along the line. But do we know, God, for sure that you still love us and you haven't left us, nor have you forsaken us. Oh, Father God, this morning, we pray for the shepherd of this house. We pray, God, that you allow her to, for her to take the message to us in a way that we will truly understand that it is a word from one high. Let us find something in that word for our own selves and then let us find an overflow that we can take what we have full, been filled with and share it with someone else because we know God that your kingdom building uh, process is still in force. We are so grateful God that no matter how uh, the politicians or the population thinks things are, that you are still at work. We are so grateful for the Holy Spirit that leads us and guides us in all truth. We are so grateful this morning, God, for the birds in the air, the rain, the sun, the moon, the stars. We are so grateful, God, because without you, where or where will we be? We thank you, God, that even in the midst of losing loved ones, friends, and family, not only through this virus, but also through life situations, that you promise to give us your peace. You promise to give us comfort. So God, we just thank you for looking out for every aspect of our lives. We thank you, God, that you are God all by yourself. We thank you, God. We just thank you, God. We thank you, God. We heard that when the praises go up, the blessings truly come down. The blessings come in all kinds of shapes, forms, and fashions. So hallelujah, bless your holy name, Father. Have thine way in this service. Bless all who are under the sound of my voice. You know what they stand in the need of, God. So God, just have thine way in our lives. We surrender all to you for this day, God. And we pray that you get the glory and the honor out of uh, our praise and worship unto you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you. Thank you for going to that old rugged cross. Jesus, Jesus, thank you. Thank you for laying down your life for sinners such as us. Jesus, 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 thank you for leading and guiding us into the truth. Jesus, 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 thank you for leaving us with the power, powerful, powerful one because we know it's the Holy Spirit. So we, we love you, we thank you, we praise you, we magnify you, we glorify you, we celebrate you, and it's in this matchless name of Jesus, the one that we call the Christ, our Savior, Lord, King of Kings, that we say amen, amen.
There are some things that I don't know. There are some places that I can't go. There are some folks I just don't understand. But I am sure of this one thing, that God is real. Yes, God is real, and I can feel it deep down in my soul. When I am wanting to give up, I can't, because yes, God is real. When my tired, get tired, yes, I want to give up, because God is real in my soul. Let's give God a hand, have a praise, and thank him for being real. A 
that is in my heart and soul and I can be to what suffer that I may not send again. How many people just glad Jesus passed by and got your attention oh, one day, one day? Yeah. He passed by a blind man and he stopped by this blind man, licked some spit and mud in his hands and rubbed it on the man's eye and told him to go and wash in the pool of Siloam. Miraculously, the man's blind man received his sight. The blind man received his sight. His neighbors were amazed. Nobody could say a mumbling word. Everybody was shocked and everybody was surprised. The testimony of this man just shocked everybody, except those church folks, those Sadducees and Pharisees who always opposed um, Jesus Christ. They badgered this man that was born blind. They attacked him. They questioned him about his experience with Jesus. And the man that was healed reacted just like this. And it had nothing to do with the taunting of the Pharisees, but it had everything to do with what was inside of him now. He stood up and what rested on the experience that he had with Jesus Christ. And he responded and he said it out of his mouth. This one thing I know, whereas I was blind, now I can see. How many people want to say, whereas I was blind, but now I can see? Any man or any woman or any boy or any girl whose life conditions or circumstances, whose situation have been touched by now the power of the Lord Jesus Christ has seen once I was blind, but now I see once. I was like this, but now there's something different about me. Once, one time I was messed up, but after a while, when Jesus touched me, something miraculously, marvelously happened in my soul. We have had the experience of this one thing I know. We've had those this one thing I know experience. Yeah. I was down, but he picked me up. Yeah. And he didn't talk about me after he picked me up either. Yeah. He encouraged me and strengthened me and told me which way to go. I was an outsider. Nobody wanted me in there, yeah. right? But he took me into his fold and accepted me and loved me until I could what? Love my own self and love yeah. other people in spite of me. But I was troubled on this journey. Yeah. But I didn't even know I was not distressed. I was perplexed on God. And thank God when Jesus came into my life, I was not in despair, persecuted, but I wasn't forsaken. These one thing I know experience, these one thing I know testimonies, we don't have to theorize out about it, right? We don't have to quote anybody else about it, right? We don't have to wonder about it. We don't say he could have, he would have, he should have, right? This one thing I know, the Lord has done great things for me. This one thing I know, it wasn't for the Lord with me and through me
for you and for me. No, I don't have to pretend to be an expert in everything about the theology and who God is. But this is one thing I know. God has done something in my life where I was blind. I can see where I was lost. Now I'm blind. I know he has changed me. I know he has healed me. He has changed my darkness into his wonderful life. He has healed me. He has delivered me. This one thing I know. Whether he can build what a highway. Guess what? I know I'm going his way, right? Whether medicine is about God. One thing I know. When I was sick, he healed my life. Whether he's a long-range planner or not. One thing I know. He has brought me all the way. Not just some of the way, but all the way. One thing I know. He loves me way, way down. And God lifted me way, way down. He found us ignorant. Not knowing him and not understanding. What the school of Jesus, right? It found me what to be his friend, it found me to be his comrade, it found me to be able to commune and stop with him. Where I was lost, now I found. Where I was blind, now I see. One thing I know for sure that God is real. God is real. He's real in my soul. This one thing I know, I didn't know him one time. Now I know who he is, and I know he's done great things in my life. I know he's carried me through my troubles. I know he's taken me through my sickness. I know in this pandemic, when I was down, God lifted me. When I didn't know if I should go left or right, God said, look to the hills where your help will come. God gave me direction, and God gave me what his idea of what my life should be. And guess what? God's plan is better than man's plan, right? This one thing I know. Whatever's going on in your life, look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. Because yes, God is real. He can do not what a stimulus check can do, but he can do beyond and above what we can ask, think, or imagine. Guess what? You might be unemployed, but guess what? God will employ you in his army, right? And you can tell lost souls and lost men and women and boys and girls, just come to Jesus. You don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. Yes, God is real. This one thing I know, that he's given me power, he's given me strength, he's given me positivity, he's given me everything. Yeah, yeah. But above all things, if he doesn't do anything else, he saved my wretched sin, sin.
the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now it's a hymn that we are able to dispel all of our fears, to let us know once we were in the darkness, now we're in the darkness night, that this God has his mind staying on the bed, and if you trust him and never doubt, he will take you, take you to places beyond your understanding. May God bless you.